Hi, it's Linda, and today I'm going to show you how to make a briefcase in PowerPoint. It's all made up of different shapes and uh, different gradients on each shape. So I'll break it down and show you how I did it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle pretty close to a square. And I'll take the outline off of it. And I want to do a gradient fill. So I'm going to make it a radial gradient. And I've got two stops on this. So the first stop, I've got it uh, zero position. And the color that I've got is uh, this lightish brown color. And then the second stop that I've got is this dark brown. It's almost black. And I've got that at 84%. So I'll just set that. And then I'll make a copy of this. I'm going to put an outline on it and I'll get rid of the, the fill on it and I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller than what I've got for the other one and I'll put this inside and this is going to be the, the stitching that uh, goes around the outside edge so what I'm going to do is go into shape outline and I'm going to go to dashes and I'll just change that and make it look like stitching. Okay, the next shape that I'm going to do is this piece across the top and I'm going to grab the flowchart delay shape and I'm just going to drag that out and I'll rotate that and just adjust it until it fits properly across the front of the briefcase. And I'll take the outline off that as well. And I'm going to put another gradient on this one. So for this one, I've got three stops. I've got the first stop. I've got it 4%. I've got the, the almost black, dark brown. For the second stop, I've got a light tan color, and I've got that at 28%. And then for the third one, I've got 52%, and I've got a medium brown there. And then I'll do the same thing that I did here and just add the stitching on in the same way. So I've added the front piece on. I'm running short on time here. So the stitching you can see on the top. So I just made a, a rectangle and uh, just dragged that over to cover the sti stitching up so you can't see it and it just looks like part of the gradient. I'm not going to tidy this up right now. I'm just trying to get through this. And then I'm going to add, there's uh, a couple of shapes to add here for the handle. I used uh, rectangles for uh, the silver pieces and just put a gradient on there. And then for the handle, if I can find it, for the handle I used the block arc, which is right there. And then I just drew that out. And I just did the black gradient on there. And then I used a, a square for um, this part and just did a, a light gray to white gradient. And then there was another shape here that uh, worked perfectly. I used uh, this shape here, the trapezoid, and then turned it upside down to get this top part. And then I just did a circle with uh, a small rectangle for the lock portion of it and then I'll just show you what you can do with this. So this is one way that you could use this. You could put uh, your documents in it for something that you were working on.